And turning now to WVKO Investigates story. It's been nearly a month and a half since a 15 year old from Glasgow was shot, leaving him with life altering injuries. In response to the incident, the family of Matthew Arms has started a petition for what they feel could get justice for Matthew. WBKO's Presley Allen joins us now live in the studio with more. Presley, what are the details of this petition? Hey Casey, so the petition is calling for a harsher punishment for gun crimes in Kentucky. I spoke with the family about their efforts and looked at the laws currently standing in the state. Here's what they told me and what I uncovered today. I, I want victims to have a voice. I want my son to have a voice. Lori Bunch is the mother of Matthew Arms, who has been fighting for his life in the hospital since he was shot in mid-May. Following the shooting, Bunch and her family have started an online petition calling for harsher penalties for gun crimes. I personally believe that it should be a stiffer penalty because the crime was involved in the gun. The petition reads, the man responsible played a deadly game, mixing hollow point and regular ammunition. Despite the lethal outcome, he was charged only with assault in the first degree. Matthew will suffer for the rest of his life because of this. 20-year-old Christopher Rye has been charged with first degree assault and three charges of first degree wanton endangerment, which are punishable by up to 10 years in prison. WBKO investigates discovered Rye was released from jail on an unsecured bond just three weeks before he shot arms. He had been charged with two counts of fourth degree assault after allegedly assaulting his minor siblings. Because Rye was not convicted of the previous assault charges, Glasgow Police Department told us they did not have legal grounds to keep a gun they had previously taken from Rye. I believe that if you are charged with any kind of assault or violent crime, you should not be allowed to own a gun, even if it is assault force, because that can escalate very quickly. We've been asking police whether the same gun they returned to Rye was the same one used to shoot arms. They're still working to determine that. recently received a tracheostomy and is still on the vent. She says he is, however, in good spirits, and although he cannot speak, he has been typing on his phone, saying he's excited to get out of his hospital bed and begin physical therapy. This is a developing story, as I will continue to research laws and statutes relating to this matter and hope to bring details soon. In studio, Presley Allen, WBKO News.